All right, we should be good to go. <coughs> so as you can see, we're here with a horror game called Alpha Polarized. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. As you can tell by the title, it's a horror adventure game. So I'm actually quite eager to see what we can get ourselves into here. And since, since it's technically now the morning of Halloween, um, hopefully we can get a few jump scares in here. That being said though, let's just kick off the show and see what we can get ourselves into. Alright, so it seems like we have to go through, like, the developers first. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The introduction didn't, didn't really show much, but should be good. Day one. I'm assuming this is us lying in bed. Hey, Norwegian guy. Are you in there? No, go away. <laughs> There's another polar bear for you to stun. Uh, friendly, buzz off. Try and ignore him for now. Okay, have it your way. Guess I'll just he just woke us up. Myself. We'll just give up, I'm not gonna take okay, offense. Okay, okay, hold on. I'll just get my gear. I'm waiting right here. Where else, where else where are you gonna go? To hold you up back there. <laughs> Oh, hello. No, it's pretty much just telling us the but uh, the things to look out for. Nice. No, return to the game. Bunk. I still have things to do. Okay, it's just pretty much telling me to go back to bed. Here, yeah, can. Good stuff. Uh, so we have multi-tool with compass, a notebook, and a lighter, currently. The next resident should sweep out the corners and replace the burned out light bulb in there. Okay. That's where I keep my writing enthusiasm. I had to install the old OS to get the polar bear tracking app to work. Okay, so it seems like we're here hunting bears. But since it's a horror game, I'm assuming something's going to be horribly wrong. I should have brought more. Explorers like... I'm not too sure to pronounce their names, sorry guys. Always brought a flag. So that was a given. A fusion jazz band. My brother plays... Oh, my brother plays in... A cure, I don't know how to pronounce that word. They suck, but it's a cool way. Okay. Around here, polar night lasts from late November to mid January. So, no real plants survive without sunlight. So, I'm assuming that plant's gonna die any minute. Twilight of the polar bears. 
Outside temperature is 5 Fahrenheit. In Celsius, that's negative 15 degrees. Fucking hell. Um, I don't think there's anything else that can really interact with. Electric radiator. Powered by a gen set unit. Okay, let's just carry on with the game then. Left clicking, uh, ruined, disables your current tasks. Pressing space activates the hotspot tool. The commercial underwear disposal unit. Okay. So we've got Nivea and the Whack. Micro, some origin, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Alright, a lot of these names I'm not going to be able to pronounce, I can tell that already. Postcards, mostly. Go to the living room and kitchen for now. I'm assuming we need to go outside, but... Let's try and say that for later if we can. Never mind, I triggered some outs. Not now, Room. Polaris, come in, Polaris. Go ahead, we hear you. I found oil deep down a crevasse near Test Drill 2. It's an open pit, Nova. I found sea oil. But that's... that's wonderful. And there's more to the story. I also ran into something unexpected. Dun dun dun. I tell you in person. I'll be there soon. While you wait, you can contact Thule. We need to announce this right away. What was unexpected? Should I tell them something else? Just tell them we're going to make the shareholders happy and the liberals angry pretty soon. Okay, where are you now? A few miles northeast of Polaris. But speaking of tree huggers, is that Norwegian chap still bothering you? Oh, cheers. No, he's not. Not at all. What? I tell you, I haven't seen such an obvious crush since my prom night, and that's been a while. He's in the room, Al. Shut it. He's there? Well, I think that was all. See you soon. Over and out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talking bad about me. I don't know what that last part was about, though. For some reason, he seemed to think that you have a bit of a crush on me. Crush? No, I... I just... Come on, is that how they do it in Oslo? Whoops, I think I left the line open. And what a thoughtful mistake it was. This has been a comedy gold mine. Look, maybe Rune could fix you something nice in the canteen. Uh, let's say, tomorrow. I'll even throw in some fuel and ammo for Tully. Uh, for distraction, you know. I could do that. Good. Do I have a say in this? Not really. <laughs> Can you cook, Rune? That's my girl. Rune, I happen to know what she likes, but I'll fill you in later. Now is not the time. Okay, over and out. Over and out. So, did you have anything else in mind? Did you manage to turn it off this time? Polar bear outside. Polar bear research on a station owned by a godless oil company. You know, this might be the biggest oil discovery of our careers. While you are trying to save the Arctic. That's... A serious conflict of interest, I know. I love ice climbing and the Arctic. That's why I'm here. Did my master's measuring skewer eggs in Svalbard. As for the company, me being here is just a cheap publicity trick. I'll play along and get my thesis done. But maybe I should get moving. That bear won't be around forever. Be careful. Everything Tully Always um. from polar bears comes from Kohler commercials. It's good to know. That's our library. That's our library, okay, it's the same thing. Stations construction photos. From a long time before... That word. <laughs> okay, same shit. To the kitchen. See if there's anyone else we can potentially talk to. Apparently I can walk through doors as well if I open them first. We don't have much, but obviously we're in the middle of nowhere. About 70% of the population are the mutated gene that allows them to process lotus as an adult. Or lactose, I mean. It's warm. No shit, it's ready here.
Uh, doesn't really seem like there's much to really pick up here at the minute, which is obvious because we haven't really done anything yet. Oh, the drapes. Okay, I thought they were doors. That makes more sense. Alright, can we wake anyone up? Probably annoy people, but oh well. Ow. Okay, he's not in. Nova. Are you in there? No answer. Okay, so these two must be out then. Oh, there's another door here I didn't expect. No answer. What's the name of this person? It's for visitors. Okay, so let's just knock down an empty room. Now let's head outside, see what we can really discover this bear. That's a good tool for wood cut, uh, woodworking and finger chopping. There's enough machinery in here to keep this place self-sufficient. You don't have to fly in every piece of custom equipment. Uh, where's? Collection of buckets, discarded items, and corporate gifts. There's no way to haul all the garbage out of here. 20 litres of fuel. Alright, let's go to the lobby. Uh, that, so that leaves outside. I'll grab a coat when I go out. Okay, go to the laundry quick. See if there's anyone in here we can talk to. Oh, the laboratory, rather. <laughs> a few pure form of H2O for lab purposes. There's the... No idea. Take over plan. Okay. So I'm sure when anything can really interact with at the minute, it's going to be useless information. Owl can probably spare one. Alright, so we managed to get a flag for some reason. Ah, so there, should, there are a few things I should have been picking up. So hopefully they don't come back to bite me. Meat, uh, powder. I don't need it for anything. Hard to think of any use for it. Okay. What was that? It's popped up then. Ice cream box, probably not going to use that. It's firmly secured. Okay. Let's just head outside then. I keep saying that, and I keep running into other. Stuff. I'm assuming this is the guy that woke me up. Hey, Rune, over here. Yeah, definitely the guy who woke me up. Where is it? Back there, behind the station. I think he tried to stalk me, so I took off. Then it's probably a male, so let's be very careful. Okay. His background. What are you doing here in the middle of Greenland? My paps worked in EP offshore. This was the first logical career option. What was he doing now? What are you working on after this? If we live through this, I'll take the rest of the day off. <laughs> Sounds like me. Uh, can I go to the roof? Try and get like a bird's eye view of where he actually is at the minute and what's he doing? Okay, he's there. So it was a good idea. Big one, all right. Somewhat over two hundred kilos, I'd say. And guess what? He is a she. Does that matter? More than one would think. Tracking collars can't be fitted to males. Their necks are wider than their heads. Okay, I have no idea what the hell that meant. She must be over two and a half meters long. That's impressive for a female. They used to keep a 10 dog team in there. A slippery slope. God, it's beautiful out here. Okay, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know if I'm trying to capture it or kill it. Despite the size, 
Those are largely decorative. And by the way, before we go any further, this has a game warning. Hold on, I'll just need to get the rest of the gear. Let's have a game warning of um unpleasant images. And other stuff like that. So if you are squeamish or anything like that, I would su suggest not to watch. What else do I need? Well, I don't have a gun for one, I guess. Let's quickly head back inside, see if we can find any guns or anything like that. Because I'm pretty sure we haven't got one on us already. Okay, no, we definitely ain't got one on us already. Oh, okay, I just, I just saw it as I walked past. Okay, I'm glad he picked up the tranquilizer, though. Nobody fancy killing animals. Okay, I still can't shoot it. God, it's beautiful out here. I need to get all my polar bear gear. But what else do I need? The chamber is empty. Okay, so I need to get the ammo for it as well. I'm fairly confident it hasn't told me what exactly what I need, do I? Unless it's in the notebook. Okay, I don't know what, what any of this means. Don't approach until the head is down. Minute, two minutes. This has, that's after shooting it to die. Secure breathing. Check heart rate. Remove darts. Clear off after reversal. Okay, I can't see that from where I'm sat. Um, I'm surprised they have the guns here, but not the dart. I need to get all my polar bear gear, but what else do you need here, sir? Never quit looking here. I don't need anything from there, don't need anything from there, blah blah blah. I don't feel like lugging gas around for no reason. Don't need anything from there, okay. Before we go nowhere, let's actually check the um... Laboratories, make sure there's definitely nothing in there that we need. And reversal agent, the cement is similar to that, so probably I'm going to need that. So can I admit some match items as well? The surface designed to reduce glare. Okay. Okay, ready to go. So I just needed that um, 
injection thing as well. Okay, so I nearly missed one thing. Can't really complain about that. Well, technically two if you count the gun, the main part of it. Use tranquilizer. Uh, the chamber is empty. Okay, fair, fair enough. Good kill. It hit her right where it was supposed to, just above the shoulder blade. Let's give the sedative some time to kick in, and then have a closer look. Oh, so we actually did kill the polar bear. Not happy about that. I'm assuming that's why he has a um a warning though, just in case people are against this. Look at that maw. Damn, man. It can easily crush a seal skull or drag a small beluga whale out of the sea. Mighty nasty smell. It shouldn't be that bad. Not much fat underneath the fur. She's malnourished. The long neck is an evolutionary adaption for swimming. He's clearly nervous about this. Not much fat, okay. Both paw pads look clean. Okay, what else does it need to do? Secure breathing, check heart rate. It's not impossible. That's a satellite tracker? Yes, but it transmits only triangulation data. The collar will come off after a few weeks. After that, I'll retrieve it. Fair enough. Uh, Mochi with a compass, lighter, flag for some reason, rope, tranquilizer rifle, which. Yeah, I'm going to reload that just in case. She'll bite my head off if I do that now. Oh, yeah, we've got to wait about two minutes, don't we? We've retrieved the dart as well. I remember reading that. Careful. Relax. I know what I'm doing. Famous last words. Go check the breathing. There's the reason for the smell. The right quadrant mandibular canine is chipped. The what? A fang. The tooth is infected and the infection is spreading. Look at the dark spots on the gums. Hello, blah, 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 his chips, okay. Okay, I don't know what the hell that does. The pulse is a little over 40. That's normal for a sleeping animal. We're done here. Ah, okay, figured it out. That tooth. That's why she's so badly malnourished. We need to contact the veterinary service tomorrow. Are you going to keep her on a leash until then? Let's haul her to that old sled dog cage to wait for them. You stay here and guard her. I'll figure out a way to do it. What if she starts moving before that? I'd keep my distance. She'll be rather pissed off when she wakes up. So he's going to die. <laughs> That's my guess. What was I doing? There's no way to move the bear wrap, wrap machinery. Okay. Two's infected. I'm assuming I was meant to get help. Can I talk to him again? Have you figured out how to move her? That thing will get up any minute. Just a moment. I'll get back to you. Okay, so this is something I have to personally type in. So have a quick look around. Don't 
don't think I need to touch that. Okay, fair enough. Snow plow. That may potentially work, but he is quite heavy. Let's have a quick look at it first, though. Don't have the keys. Okay, can't use that then. Have you figured out how to move her? That thing will get up any minute. Let's type it and see what it says. Ain't gonna work. Okay. Other ideas? Drag it. <laughs> we could try to drag her. No way. That thing weighs well over 500 pounds. We couldn't drag her for a foot. Other ideas? Let's go look inside then, because I remember the, there's a load of machinery in the garage, ain't there? Let's have a look in the garage and see what we can actually figure out. The tree does went the long way around as well. A oh, big door, so there should be something in there that's big enough to get this polar bear. So what do we have? Rest drill, whiskey bells, room, table saw. Grinding machine. We do have the snowmobile, maybe that is the answer. Because other than that, I don't really see a machine big enough for it. So, I'm just gonna try a snowmobile. Have you figured? Let's take the snowmobile and pull her. That might work. Yeah, it was the answer. What do you think? I've got nothing to add. You be the MacGyver here, Viking. I'll pull the throttle when you're ready. No worries. It's not possible to drive the snowmobile into the cage. I have to think of something else. What do you think? I've got nothing to add. You be the MacGyver here, Viking. I'll pull the throttle when you're ready. Okay. Seems like I'm doing it all again. It housed tens of huskies during the time before motorized transportation. That won't hurt, that would hurt her. Uh, 
Okay, I've got the strap here. Seems like it's interacted with it. They would tie the rope, yeah? That's not going to work. The snowmobile can't turn into the cage. Okay. Ah, figured it out. Eula Petroleum's gonna love her. We are not telling them. We need to do what we can to help her. I'm gonna go take a leak. Okay, don't get frostbite on your balls. Because I'm the polar bear now. Will she see how she copes in that cage? Okay. So do I just go inside now? Okay, something's happening. Okay, no, it's not. It's just loading. There should be antibiotics somewhere in the lab. Okay. Okay, that's to wake them up when we're done. But first, I need to find the antibiotics, otherwise she's going to rip my face off. Now, we automatically put the gun back as well, so no longer need that. Here it is. Antibiotic, a liquid penicillin. She weighs about 200 kilo, uh, kilograms. 1,000 milligrams a day. Oral or... Intramuscular. <laughs> Intramuscular should do it. But that means I would need to keep her in a very small cage for at least 14 days. I'll contract fall first thing in the morning. Make some room. Sample's coming through. Okay. Rune. Ow. Pretty brisk weather out there. Leave no skin exposed. What do you got there, Gramps? Early Christmas. A few hours ago, I was roaming the glacier using the crevasse radar. No magnetometrics or anything. Suddenly, the thing starts bleeping, and I hit the brakes. Went outside and found myself on the edge of the nastiest crevasse ever. Holy shit! And that's not even the hairiest part. Glance down, and there it was. An alien? In the hole, a bubbling pool of crude oil. Again, no, oil, okay. Electromagnetics, telerix, or anything. Just stumbled on it. So I figured there's more to this story. Tied myself to the six-wheeler's winch, and went down. You fucking went down the crevasse? Alone? And with that trunk of yours? Yes, Tully. I bloody went all the way. Let's say I had a hunch of an old oil wizard. Did some surface sampling, looked around, and found these. The fuck is that? Bones. And the tablet? It was a sacrificial site of some kind. Ah, okay. Thigh bone. Human. Oh, okay, this is where things start getting weird. Body parts down here, but I didn't want to stick my nose any deeper than I already had. What do you think, Rune? Uh, remake about the climate change. Tell him this is not your field. It's an important find, definitely. This is a significant find. The symbols look like some sort of elaborate writing, but it's not really my field. I have a few paleoanthropologist contacts in Bergen. We could reach them through the Thule station. Maybe, but let's not be hasty here. The find could mean big bucks for all of us, so let's not draw any unnecessary attention to it. Tully? Right on, Gramps. Last time I checked, we were on an oil research station, not some fancy university. You 
You are not going to believe this. Euler himself is coming here. Bob? They're sending Bob? No, much worse. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be in my room. Okay, so she's hiding from whoever's coming. What the hell was that? Alistair Euler, the son of the company founder, is coming here. I've known Bob a long time, and in this case, the apple has landed far off. Oh, he sure got the Ice Queen ticked off. We have some mutual history together. I'm going out for a smoke. You joining, Gramps? No, thank you. I'll reward myself with a couple of sandwiches. Viking? No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. And if I'm not going to be allowed to contact a real expert, I'll examine those bones myself. Knock yourself out. Okay. You do know what your oil find means for Greenland, don't you? Yes, it'll bring in money to the local people, thus giving them tools for pursuing their independence. It'll also have a severe effect on the ecology, not to mention global climate problems. What do you want me to do, Rune? I'm an old guy. For once, I found something worthwhile. Anyway, I suggest you take a look out of your window before going to sleep. There should be powerful aurora in the sky tonight. I have no idea what the hell that means, but okay. These two markings really stand out. The lower one looks human. There are messy symbols on the lower part. Almost like they were entified, to, uh, intended to look bad. There are messy symbols on blah blah blah. Okay. There are markers below, but I can't make out any of any of them out. I can't work any of them out. Uh, there's a sweet spot somewhere. There we go. These three symbols are inside the cartouche. I don't know how to pronounce that. As if they, uh, as if together they would have a special meaning. Okay, what's the second one say? As soon as I can find a spot for it. Okay, same thing. A magnific magnificent arc of symbols on the upper part. Looks almost like the sky is bleeding. Okay, let's look at the bones. The bones are so. Minorize that it's hard to examine them properly. They must be thousands of years old. Oh shit, I didn't mean to take it. Clicking myself for now. I need to cleanse the bones outboard for further inspection. Okay, how does one cleanse? Leave the good, give the first antibiotic shot tonight. Oh yeah, shit, so they dealt with the polar bear. She's awake. Shit. We'll see how she copes in that cage. I need to cleanse the bones outboard for further inspection. I need to give the first antibiotic shot tonight. Okay, I'm guessing I can't do it now. I can't deliver it like this. It has to be injected to work. Okay, so I'm assuming I need the gun again to probably knock her out again. And obviously then I use the reverse thing to wake her back up. Not too sure how I'm meant to cleanse the bones though. I'm 
I'm assuming it's in here. Use container if you hood on blah blah. Okay. That doesn't do anything. Okay, so it's definitely not that. Container and fume hood. Okay. Don't put that in there, do I? No, because I can't take this at all. Alright, well, so we'll figure that out later. For now, I'm going to try and just deal with the polar bear. I have no use for that now. Okay, so it's, I don't need... That either. Ah, okay. I need to inject it, surely. Surely I can't do that while she's awake, can I? But I don't know what else to do, because apparently I cannot pick up the... Tranquilizer gun again. Okay, she bite my hand off. Can I give you the bones? Okay, I definitely can't shoot her again. So do I generally just wait until she's generally asleep? Unless I can get a food. And then... And I can't sedate her again, can I? That probably won't work. Okay, I need to cleanse the bones out of war for further examination. How do I cleanse it? I'm going to have a quick look at where all the machinery is. Oh, hello, there's a big truck here now. Table saw. He likes to sleep in the tent, just like me when I was four. What do you think about the pine? When are you going to get it on with the Inuit princess, huh? Okay. Don't Admit it. tell me you haven't tried. Me? Hell no. A cold and bitter creature that woman is. An ice princess. She was working in Thule before this, right? The word is that they had to transfer her to keep a horde of ogling corporate losers away. Like the Eula guy she was mad about. And that she enjoyed the hassle an awful lot, too. Just take a number, pal. Okay, that's enough. I have things to do. But if you need some advice about Inuit women in general, you are now talking to the Eskimo champ. Right. My point is that she'll eat you alive. She's done it before. Well, physically at someone? Right. I have no idea what that's for. Looks just like a radio car.
It's Al's wife. I think she passed away. Oh, that's sad. Okay. So I don't mix you and you, do I? Not possible. Okay, that'd be a no. Wanna do anything? I don't think that leads to anything useful. Okay, some of it came off, but I can't examine the bone underneath. That so won't lead to anything useful. Definitely not anything to do with this, is there? Bit hard to get them in there. What do you mean? Okay, so definitely won't work then. No matter where I click, it's not going to happen. As your drinks. Definitely, yeah. Okay. Well, I ain't got a Scooby then. I've not got a clue on what the hell to do. Go and talk to the other guys for now, maybe they might give me a clue. Quite a day, wasn't it? I understand you have a long work history in the Arctic. Too long, my friend. Too long. I've seen all kinds of creatures in here. All kinds of jaunty fellows. Did you see my new mascot? I did, but how long is she going to stay in that cage? That's a different thing. I'm not going to keep her. What's the problem with her? Infected jaw. Dooley will probably agree to send in a vet. That's a ballsy move, you know, to capture a polar bear. Did you say the artifacts were in a cave, not in the bottom of the crevasse? A glacial cave beneath the ice, yes. It was deep beneath the surface. Not a very pleasant place. But don't start getting any weird ideas about academic investigations or anything. I found it and I'll dedicate it to pumping black gold. What are you working on? Right now, uh, my main field of expertise, a sandwich. <laughs> Alright, so, so I need to figure out how to do this. The conversation with him didn't really help a thing.
Unless there's some things in the basement. Let's go and talk to Nova quick. Nova, are you all right? Really? No, not really. You know, if you need any assistance, I've got some quality razor blades. <laughs> You're a real friend, but I think I just need some rest. I was just wondering if the date is still on. What? The date? Oh, our date. Yes, it's still on. Look, I noticed you're a bit stressed out and thought, if there's anything I can do... I just need some rest. Okay. Good night. Alright, it's good job to stop there. Sound like she's getting annoyed with us a little bit. Seems like our guy's got a date already, though. Right, check the basement. I need for cake right now. I ain't know. I ain't got a clue. No good at puzzle games, man. I did not realize this was gonna be a puzzle game. Do I have a thing to say to him? Cleanse, what the fuck does it mean by cleanse? <laughs> so I try clicking on anything in the laboratory. And that don't seem to work either. Don't need anything from there. Let's explore this more then. So we've got a knife blade, a fire, a Couple of screwdrivers and a compass. My current heading is degree. My current in degrees is two seventy. Yeah, my notebook's not going to tell me anything. Well, is there anything useful? How about the bullets on this? I right, guess I'm gonna take a bit of a break from this one. I'm gonna do some research and how how to continue onwards because I'm 
Let's face it, I'm stumped, ain't got a clue. I'm just gonna make stuff up as I go along. <laughs> so for the next episode, uh, I'm gonna be doing some research and then figure it out and then just carry on with the game. But until then, I'm gonna play somewhere else and actually, hopefully, get the shit scared out of us with a horror game. Cause this is not, well, it's, I can't really say it's not scary, I haven't really played it yet. But, nothing's really happening because I'm lost. <laughs> so that being said, I'll see you guys in a few seconds.